Good morning, everybody. Dar Sizzle and put in AKA Brian behind the camera currently. It is a beautiful morning here in Boynton Beach, Florida, our home waters. I just got done rigging up a DOA terrorize to throw around. Uh, I'm gonna get lines wet here, but we're gonna basically, hopefully, target some tarpon. He's jumping, he's jumping. He's hooked, he knows he's hooked. And some snook around here. We got some live shrimp with us. Maybe I'll catch some live bait. We'll see how that goes. And then we also are gonna be checking our stone crab traps, mainly to fill them with all the carcasses that I have and check them to see what else might be going on with them. But we're gonna let them soak for a few days, come back out and check them. But it's been a beautiful morning so far and we have way less wind than we've usually had. And it's pretty rare around here. It's been so windy in Florida. Or then an occasional jack that might come through. Oh, I got something. I did not know I was hooked up. It's a jack. Oh, it's a mangrove. What? For a keeper? It's a porgy. Ooh. Yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> All right. First fish in the boat. We just came to this bridge over here and this is some type of porgy. Not exactly sure what species this is, but pretty nice fish for underneath the bridge. I believe that is a keeper. Pretty sweet, on a strip on a jig, just casting it back in there. We're starting to get some moving current and we're just gonna see what else was chewing today. But we had just had a full moon about two days ago and there's a lot of water moving today. So that is good for us. We got an incoming tide, but nice fish to start the day. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. got any. I got some! Hey! I would have got more if it didn't get stuck, but the net still opened and we got a couple baits. Yay! Now I'm happy. Always love some mullet. Let's see how many we got. Probably got six, half a dozen. Oh, I just released one. Son of a gun! That was a good size one, too, I just released. Ugh! Just gotta throw again. Make up for it. Little tarpon's chasing my mullet. Oh, he's getting chased. He's on the surface jumping. Oh boy. Come on, just eat him. Oh! There's a little juvenile tarpon playing with my bait out there. We basically just start chumming the water. Ooh, there he goes again. Eat him. Oh, he's the smallest tarpon ever. He's running with it. Hooked up. Hooked up. We'll see what it is. I think it's a tarpon. Want to get over? Should we go over there? Nice, no, really small. Oh, he's over there. Oh, he's, that's something else. Oh, cool, man. That is so cool. Hooked up on a tarpon, just like that. There's actually, they're getting boiled over there too. Another set of tarpon. They're getting all fired up. So again, guys, we have an incoming tide and we caught that live bait this morning. So we put out a live mullet. And then I've got all these carcasses. So what we like to do is what we call it dead baiting for tarpon. So we like to get the water nice and stinky. So I've been cutting up pieces of carcasses back there with my Smith uh, bait breaker knife and just throwing them in the water and getting these tarpon to come to the boat. But he just ate one of our live baits. And it's a nice one. He's definitely a juvenile, but we're gonna see if we can get him in here. He's definitely pulling and the water is going this way. So he's really fighting the current. I'm just really trying to keep his head down. Go, go over there? And bring him over here. Nice no, coming in. He's You're small, going against baby. the current, too. So. He's small. Well, I don't want to lose him. We're not. Trust me. He's a little guy. He's pretty close right now. So that's awesome. We got our goal. Well, I don't want to jinx it right now. <laughs> not jinxing anything right now. He is hooked up, ate a nice size mullet. And this tarpon was kind of just playing with it forever. It was pretty funny, but he eventually ate it. Pretty sweet. And we're also gonna have another one out well, on a circle hook. We're gonna put a dead piece of dead bait out and we'll just let it drift naturally with the current and maybe catch a bigger one. This fish is not giving up. Here he is, color. Oh, he's beautiful. Here he is. Beautiful tarpon, y'all. Check that out. Heck yeah. Boynton tarpon, baby. Gorgeous. I hope that circle hook's not inhaled, but you guys just saw him. Not an official catch till I reel the leader through the tip. 
You can see how they fight so hard. You really want to pull the line behind his head. So that way he fights the line and the current. He's right here though, so close. Woo! He's getting worn out though. Pretty sick. He's so gorgeous in this blue water. Here he is. Oh, gorgeous. Leaders through, this, leaders through, caught tarpon. Circle hook is hooked perfectly in the upper lip. That is a perfect catch, y'all. Look at that. Heck yes. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't like that net. We want to get you, let you go. We want to let you go. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Gorgeous juvenile tarpon. They have to be under 40 inches to get them in the boat, which is what we're doing immediately. And we're popping this circle hook right out. You can see that clearly in the upper lip. Gone. There is our fish, y'all. Gorgeous. Tarpon for us, baby. All right, we gotta let him go, though. Can't keep him on the water for long. Check it out. Beautiful fish. Woo! All right. That was a beautiful fight from this guy. I would say he's a solid, 10, 15 pounds, probably close to 20. Whoa, that shows you he's ready. That's what you wanna see. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna get another one right now, let's do this. Game on. Ooh, nice job just the night of the fire. I don't know if we're gonna catch another one, but that was awesome. We're catching another one. <laughs> Heck yes, that's what I'm talking about. Finally, plan comes together. Woo, now I'm like all warmed up and ready to go. Let's do this. Let's get another mullet out. Nice job, Dustin. Let me just tell you a tackle real quick. So, you know, this is our home area, so we know kind of where the fish are. So we uh, posted up where we've seen fish in the past, uh, power poles down, I got chum out, and we started just chunking out the dead bait, but we also caught those live baits. So I had a, threw a live bait out immediately, let that just swim, swim around, and that was on Darcy's kind of favorite tarpon, shark rod, spinning rod, Cabo 80, uh, heavy duty star rod, 50 pound braid, main line, and she had like a 40 or a 50 pound fluoro uh, leader with the 8 uh, circle hook through the nose of a medium sized mullet and uh, just plan came together. So that's, that's the tackle. And uh, Darcy's here just getting, getting another one ready. You ready for another one, Sizzle? Yeah. <laughs> so let's go. It's the biggest puffer fish in the world. Action. He got side hooks. Are you kidding me? At least I got myself a chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know what just happened. That was really weird. Y'all, you see that? How that's hooked in his actual tail? It's hilarious. <laughs> He's barely hooked. The barb didn't even go through. And all that water came squirting out of his gills. That was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Jeez. This is full of water. We'll see you here. We'll see. We'll see. You just slam that lure. Nice, Snook. Just slam that deal away. Woo! All right. So we always catch fish at this bridge, y'all. And I'm going to post it on the Fish Angler app so you guys can come out here. Woo! Did you see that? That was sick. So you guys can come out here and do this too. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Right into the net you go. Woo! Nice. We always catch fish over here. Let's move him to the front. Beautiful one. He's a beaut. He's close to slot. He's close, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get your hopes up right now. He's probably 26. He's a beauty though. Golden, gorgeous colors on him, but you can see he crushed that DOA right on the corner of this bridge. And we always successfully catch fish here. So I'm going to post it again on the Fish Angler app so you guys can come out here and do this too. Chill out in our home waters. And I'm gonna post all of the information for Fish Angler down below so you guys can check it out. And uh, it's a totally free app, but that's what us anglers use for beginners to experts to see, you know, to help each other and catch fish, more fish. So I'm gonna post this guy on there. And you guys can check it out. Uh, he's 25. Yeah. They, the slot fish are usually a little thicker than this because they got a nice fillet on them. I was totally wrong. I said 26, he's about 25. 
just under. Nice fish though. One of these days, we will get a keeper. I'm not saying the S word. All right, let's let him go. All right, buddy, I know. He's ready, he's ready. Oh my goodness. As soon as in the water, he just chomps at my thumb. You ready? See, I let him go in the sunlight. Woo! That was nice. These fish are very frisky. That tarpon took off like that. That snook took off like that. Now we just got a lagoon slam. We gotta get a lagoon slam. I'm not sure what else we catch. We got a snook, we got a tarpon. It's a pretty good dang day already. <laughs> it's a pretty good dong day, everybody. I was gonna say damn, but I said dang. It's a pretty good dong day. Dang. Dig dong day. Dang. I never know what she's talking dang. about. I love you. Nice. I gotta catch a fish. Catch up. <laughs> So I want to mention two things while I'm switching around. I'll get there all seen the scene so you guys will pay attention. But uh, while I'm moving around to the other side of the bridge, I want to say two things. One is, you know, I had a shrimp out that time as well, a live shrimp. And as is often the case, Darcy caught a fish with an artificial lure instead of me catching one with the live shrimp. So again, you gotta try different things, you never know. And secondly, we caught that on the, uh, kind of on the lee side or the back side of where there was no current. You know, not where the current was hitting the bridge, but on the other side. So, you know, typically you want to be where the current's hitting. Uh, but uh, and drift your bait underneath it, but not always, not always the case. So try both sides. Don't just try one side, and uh, that's it. What do you think, Darcy? I'm good. Sounds good. The little one slammed it up high. Nice. Literally, just he just ate it like very high up on the surface. It's pretty crazy. Got the drag pretty set. He's not really pulling it too much, but another snook for me in a matter of minutes. Pretty sick on the artificial. DOA killing it once again. You guys are interested in any of the lures that I like to use or any of the products like my rod and my reel right here. It's going to be on the Amazon store for you guys to check out. And if you buy anything, you know, you'll support the channel. I'm an Amazon associate. So go ahead and check that out if you want to check out the things that I like to use for fishing because it works. Another nice one. He's literally an identical twin. Maybe, maybe a half inch shorter. These fish are chewing though. All right, so you can see he got hooked in the lip perfectly. DOA really, you just really got to have to hook with these things. So I can get it out. Let you go. All right, there we go. Those little minnows, they love them. All right, another frisky, whoa, relax. Another frisky healthy snook. Chill out, buddy, please. He's ready to go. He's chewing on my thumb already. Another pretty fish. Awesome. Let's let them go right away. See what else the fish gods will bring to me today. But so far, everything is an epic day and the plan is coming together. All right, he's ready and he's chewing on me. There he goes. Sweet. Okay, so now that I fished the artificial a few times around here and I've caught a couple snook, usually what happens when you catch one fish in an immediate area like I'm right here, the fish kind of shut off or they get spooked because I just fought that fish to the boat. Uh, but that fish is fine, obviously. So what I'm going to do is switch it up and stop throwing that for a second and try live shrimp on a little tiny jig head and drift that back naturally and see what happens. Maybe I'll get another fish. But usually after you catch one, there's a little lull. Hooked up. Not sure what it is. I think it's another snook. And I'm off 20 pound. Ah! Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, gosh. It's going to be a miracle if I land him. Oh, gosh. Follow your fish, follow your fish. Oh gosh, I don't know where he's hooked. I'm using 20 pound. I switched to that trip like I told y'all and it seemed to work. He's taking drag though. Come on, buddy. Get up here, get up here. Using a tiny little light tackle setup. He's coming close, coming close. Oh baby, he's beautiful. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked, fish gods. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Yeah! Woo! He was a little heavier. He's a little bigger. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. He's gonna be 27. Oh my gosh. I'm not getting my hopes up. All right, baby. <laughs> He's a nice fish though. A little bigger on the freaking shrimp, y'all. I'm 20 pound. Look at that. Hooked perfectly. Did not fray my leader whatsoever. You see that tiny little jig? I mean, tiny little jigs catch big fish. So that just goes to show you that works. I tied it with a loop knot. That is a nice fish right there, y'all. Nice fish. Okay. We got to get an official measure. Knot. 
going to use the boat ruler. I'm going to use my Grizzly Cooler lure ruler. We actually have it on the floor right there, the silver lure on the floor, right. the official okay. count over there on the floor. We'll check them in here real quick. All right, guys. Check out this fish. Let us know how big you think he is before we really measure him. Go ahead and comment below. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. I think he's 27 because I don't have good luck. He is. Yeah. Yep, 27. So close. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. All right, y'all. Going home. Another beautiful fish. Let's go. One picture? All right, let's let him go. Gets to live another day. He put up a hell of a fight. Oops, a heck of a fight, too. That was epic. Epic fish. And he's pulling my thumb. Let go. Let go. There he goes. Sick. That was sick. Three silk in one spot, y'all. Three. And we got some fans over here hanging out. So now we are going to get lines right back out and see what else we can do because they're getting a little bigger. <laughs> What's getting up? Bigger. They're getting bigger. Thank you so Thank you much. So much. That's awesome. That's Thank you. Long Island guy right there. Nice. Woohoo! Awesome. Where from? Yeah, we're on Long Island. Uh, Bellport. <laughs> really Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks for watching, man. Have a great day. Ooh, awesome. So the guy just stopped by. If you guys see us on the water, say hello. And uh, guys from Smithtown, really nice. Love the channel. Learn, learn a lot about fishing. Awesome. Great day in the water. Some other fans were up on the bridge before. So we're totally having an awesome day. Twelve, I'm, we're self-quarantined today, everybody. The best way to get to quarantine yourself is to go fishing. Am I right, Sizzle? Right. She already caught my cooties, but there's no one else around. No one within four to six feet. <laughs> Which apparently is a safety zone. <laughs> this little de-hooker tool is great. This might not make the cut, might, might make the cut. You use it on any hook like that. Just go on to the fish so you don't have to touch them. This is also going to ensure their you know, safety when they're released. Give it a little flip, come right off. This little $10 tool is the best tool in the world on my Amazon store, link down below. All right, just do the cast net. Exactly what I want to see, Barracuda cast net. It's got tons of mullet inside. These are absolute monsters. So only monster fish will eat them, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, they're absolute monsters. Hopefully I can get some smaller ones, but those guys are gonna be a little too big on the big side, especially for your, like, your average size snook and tarpon. But a monster tarpon would eat those guys. Heck yeah. yeah those are too big. Woo! I can flip them. What? Wanna flip them? Is a flipper? He's, he's hooked good, yeah. Yeah, he's a flipper. All right. Nice job. Nice job. Nice. Now, Darcy missed a snook over here before, and so he came back to the same spot, and I threw this through a jig with a monster shrimp on it. Darcy didn't like how I had the shrimp hook, so she's like, you're not going to catch a fish, you're just going to spit it out. Nice fish. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Control your fish. I've tried to, my, I don't know if you guys knew, but I broke my wrists in high school football, and so they really hurt, and that really hurt my wrist a lot. All right, I'm just going to put them back in. Nice job by pudding. We got him. Oh, he just jumped out. How does that happen? He jumped just, over you, not out. Just don't get it. Oh, yeah, baby. We got the mother load finally. It only took till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But you got to do what you got to do to get bait. Now we've got as much as we could possibly want for a big snook, big tarpon. I'm stoked in the barracuda net. That's what I'm talking about. We got some monsters and some nice size ones in there. Like this one is perfect size. Yeah, let's throw out the big ones and keep so, the smalls. We will just start to sort them out here. Oh, please eat him. Can you take him off my hook? The mullet got away? Oh, 
Come on. Right here. He's 20 feet from the boat. He's about to eat my mullet. Oh my God, come on. Your mullet's right here running back to the boat. He was chasing yours too. Tarpon are hungry, dude. We gotta get this line out of the way. Your fish is right here. Let's reel him up. Oh my God. He like blew water at him and pushed him in the air, like five foot in the air. Dude, he's right there. Get blown up. I'm not sure how much of that I got on film though, so tell me what happened. Yeah, it was pretty wild. We just got set up on the outgoing tide for tarpon after catching all those mullet. And as soon as we set up and put the power poles down, we had mullet getting blown up 10 feet from the boat. Giant silver king, watching him roll on him, bump him out of the water, pushing pounds? him five foot in the air. I would say between 40 and 50 pounder. It was a nice fish. Hey, oh, just hit your bait, just hit your bait. Get it. I have to go potty so bad. 20 feet, get him! Is that your bait? I just threw him again! Yes, that's my bait! He got him, he got him, he got him. He got him, he's jumping, he's jumping. He's hooked, he knows he's hooked. He's gone. Urgh. So, I did not catch any more tarpon, unfortunately. They were literally playing games with me, it was funny, but I, I don't know, I had so many opportunities, but that's why it's called fishing and not catching. We are now pulling up our stone crab traps, put some bait in them, let them soak. Hopefully we got some fresh crabs later this week. We'll see what happens, but you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for our next video because you guys are going to see these awesome stone crabs and all the other cool things that we're doing. So until our next adventure, follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.